Hi guys, it is time for my top 10 current favorites and I'm calling it current favorites because I don't like to talk about monthly favorites too far into the following month. But just between you and me, it is my October favorites. We're going to start off with skincare and I went back to an old favorite this last month and it is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I was using something a little bit thicker for several months, almost a year, but I think my skin started to dislike that and it wanted something a lot more gentle and something that didn't have as many bells and whistles. And for many people, it's probably not going to be moisturizing enough, but it's exactly what my skin needed. My skin has calmed down in the last few weeks since I switched over to this. I ended up getting a new smaller version because it took me a really long time to finish up the larger one with a pump. And I had that one for maybe more than a year. I finally finished it up and I ended up getting this because my skin may change again and it might not like this in a few months. You never know. It's also a really nice consistency. It's almost like a vanilla pudding. It feels so good on the skin. My other skincare favorite has been this Freeman Facial Polishing Mask with Charcoal and Black Sugar. I've had this one as well for a while. This is actually a new one because I finished the last one up. Back in college, I used to be crazy about scrubbing my face. I scrubbed my face multiple times a day, like every single day. It was really bad and my skin was so raw. I don't know why I did that. I think I was just really OCD about scrubbing my face. Then I stopped doing that altogether. So recently I was the complete opposite where I never scrubbed my face. And the only time my skin got any form of exfoliation, at least on my face, was when I went to my esthetician for my monthly facial. And she told me that because I've been so prone to clogged pores that I need to start exfoliating regularly again. So I went back to this and I now use it twice a week and my skin has been loving it. It's kind of messy so you take this black sugary scrub basically and put it all over your face. I leave it on for five minutes and then take some warm water and start massaging the scrub into my skin or the mask into my skin. So it's first going to take out all the impurities because it's charcoal and then when you slowly massage the sugar into your skin it really exfoliates and my skin feels so soft after I use it. My makeup applies beautifully, my moisturizer sinks in really well and I can't recommend this enough and it's only three dollars. Next couple products are lip products and this is a new one in the drugstore and it is the Revlon HD Lip Lacquer. I ended up getting three shades and I like all of them. This is a really pretty mauve plummy shade for fall. I love my nudes, of course, and this is a really pretty hot Barbie pink. And they're all really pigmented. It does come with a brush applicator, which I'm okay with. It reminds me of the Stila lip glosses with the brush tip applicator from back in the day. I know they still have it, but I think it was one of the first lip products that I've ever received when I was a child. So I always remember that from my childhood. I think it's really easy to apply. I know some people don't like brush applicators and you prefer the doe foot so that it's something to keep in mind when you're considering purchasing these, but I like it. The packaging is also really pretty and I would say it's up there with the other Revlon lip glosses that I love. The one that I did not like though from this new range is the lipstick. I got the shade Rose and it was really gritty and I did not like this at all, but I do like the lip lacquers. The next lip product is from Gerard Cosmetics and they recently reached out to me and asked if they could send me some products for consideration. And I have actually gone to the Whitening Lightning Gerard Cosmetics website before and I've purchased with my own money their lip glosses and I really like them. So when they reached out to me, I said, yeah, definitely, I would love to try out your stuff. So they sent me over some things and I'm gonna mention two in this video. The first one is the lipstick 1995 by Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill from YouTube partnered up with them and created this lip lipstick and it has been getting so much hype and it is for a good reason. I'm wearing it right now and it is the perfect fall shade. It's kind of that brownie red shade that's really popular and I think it is perfect for fall. This formula, I don't know what it is, but it glides on and it does not make my lips look dry at all. And also when I press my lips together, I don't get these weird rings about around my lips, you know what I mean? When you apply a lipstick and as soon as you press your lips together it's like the lipstick starts to separate and move around. It does not do that with this lipstick. I really like the formula. Now we're going to move on to the other product that they sent me that I really like and it's the Whitening Lightning Bar Brow To Go. Bar, bar Brow 
brow bar to go. This has been talked about so much. I've seen people like Nicole Guerrero and Carly Bell use this all the time, and I couldn't understand why a brow powder can be such a big deal. And when I first used this, I was like, okay, I totally get it now. I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz for a very long time, and I still do use it, but I've been using this pretty much every single day in the last several weeks because it's so easy to use. So what I first do is I use my Benefit Gimme Brow because that is the best thing to quickly fill in your brows. And then I fill in the rest with this. So I first take the wax and then I will groom my brows real quick. And then I use the middle brown shade and it's the perfect color match for me. And then I fill in the rest of my brow that the Gimme Brow really couldn't do for me. And it has been such a good combination. And I use the MAC 266 brush to apply it. And this is my genuine opinion. I am not getting reimbursed by them to talk about their products. They're not paying me at all. And I do have a coupon code below for you guys, but I'm not getting commission from this. This is genuinely me saying that I really like these two products and I suggest you check them out. And then to finish off my brows, this is my my next favorite it is the Maybelline brow drama this is a tinted gel that really sets my brows in a place and holds my brows really well my brow hairs tend to stick out of my face instead of laying flat it's really annoying so I need a gel that really holds my hairs and this is really good and also really inexpensive and I also want to give a quick shout out to Jessica hearts me on Instagram because she's been there for me since day one of Instagram and she recently told me to try this out so if it wasn't for you Jessica I wouldn't have tried it and now I love it so thank you this next favorite is not a new favorite so it's kind of like a rediscovered favorite I don't even want to say rediscovered because I've been using it this whole time but I want to mention it in my top 10 because it has become my exclusive under eye concealer favorite and also highlighting down my face and it is the NYX HD photogenic concealer in the shade fair you have seen me use this plenty of times, so it's nothing new, but I wanted to mention it in this video because I've been using so many different concealers lately, but this has been the one that I've been using all the time, and it's just so good. Recently had to repurchase this, and now I have to reorder it again because I'm using it that much. Gotta have some blush in my top 10 videos, so this is the Tarte Pin Up Girl Blush Palette that I have done a review on, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'll link my review below, and it does come with swatches. This is the 2014 Blush Palette, Holiday Blush Palette by Tarte, and all the shades work really well for my skin tone. The shade right over here is a little bit too light, but I do like it for those days when I want to look like I'm not really wearing makeup. It just adds a little extra to my cheeks. And I think it's a beautiful holiday palette. And my other current blush favorite is this Maybelline Master Highlight in the shade Light Bronze. Because it's light bronze, I don't know if I can call it a blush, but I use it as a blush, so we're just going to go with that. This is so beautiful on those days when you want a glowy, not trying hard makeup look. It comes with some browns, there's some highlight in there, and there's a little bit of pink so it's not muddy. I'll still use a matte bronzer to contour, and then I'll apply this to the apples of my cheeks, and it gives it this beautiful glowy radiance, and mm, I love it so much. I love all of these so much. I have a feeling I've mentioned at least one of these Master Highlight blushes in each of my favorites videos for the last several months, but I don't really care because it's that good and it's worth letting you guys know about. And my last of the top 10 is a hair styling product and this is the Garnier Fructis Deconstructed Texture Tease Dry Touch Finish Spray. And I've heard that this is really similar to the Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun Spray or whatever you call it. And it's supposed to give you volume. I'm glad I discovered this thanks to Tati on YouTube because I was wanting to try out the Bumble and Bumble spray and now I can save a lot of money by just picking this up. I did not do my hair today, I just put it back half up, half down. But just to give you an idea, spray this into your hair. It's not really gonna do anything right now, but it's supposed to add volume. And when I have my hair, oh, 
It smells like apples, which isn't too bad, but right now, oh, it is up in my face. When I have my hair completely styled and all down, and then I spray this into my hair, it adds so much volume. Pick this up if you're looking for some volume in your life, because it will give it to you. And that is it for my top 10 current favorites. Let me know, as always, if you have any of the same favorites in a comment below, or if you have any recommendations for me to try. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye! <laughs>